So there has actually been a case of Mr. Beast who is in some hot water right now. And if you guys don't know who Mr. Beast is, he is the number one YouTuber in the world other than a bigger corporation above him that's owned by an Indian firm. But they don't really, they're not really in the same spectrum as him since as he is just a YouTuber, you know? He's not a music industry. Now, what he's been doing, apparently, he's been accused by Rosanna Pansino of manipulating the clips, taking her out of the clips, and she did a hide-and-seek event, and she was apparently kind of supposed to win it because she was hiding so good that they kind of took her out of it. And they get, I know that uh, Logan Paul was supposed to win it. Either way, she's basically accusing Mr. Beast of faking his videos or in this situation his video of hide and seek i'm pretty sure it's that hide and seek video where they're at that stadium and they're hiding in the bleachers they're hiding behind you know certain things that's in there um now if this was really true if she was 100 percent being honest and she was telling the truth then she would make a video explaining herself in a video there's no way someone with that kind of information is going to make a simple twitter post there's no way in hell if someone knew the truth deep down they would not hide behind a twitter post never you look at my example today people if you took the time to watch my video you would see that i told you guys about youtube's corruption on a video i didn't hide shit i didn't make a comment on a twitter post i didn't hide behind an email i showed my face i used my voice and you guys could hear it from the horse's mouth, from the main source. There's there's nothing that can be taken out of context, you know? Like it was a fake post or something, or Mike was an AI fake generated person. Bullshit, that was really me. So what do I believe? I don't really have enough information to go off right now, but what I do believe is, hey, what's the benefits for her? She can make a lot of money, maybe a lawsuit, maybe some like settlement money with Mr. Beast. Or maybe she didn't like him or something reason or what he said and she wants to frown on him and, you know, just expose him for something that maybe he might have done or said something. Who knows what really did happen. Without physical evidence, we wouldn't know. But I can tell you this, the evidence would lie in the hide seat clip, if there's any evidence, or in the original people that made the clip, the video editors slash film crew. They would have the truth, most likely, if it happened. So you guys should be demanding the truth from her that the, through the people that she knows to make a clip, make some videos about it. And then we can know some really good information there. But do I think Mr. Beast said that kind of stuff or did that kind of stuff, manipul manipulating clips, making false videos? I mean, he, most of his content is staged. Let's be real. None of it is actually real, live, genuine content. It's very manipulated in a certain fashion so that it produces clicks. So you get the most amount of people to jump onto his videos. That's his main focus, his main goal is to get as many subscribers as possible and get as many eyeballs on his videos as possible so he can be the number one YouTuber and be the richest YouTuber in the world. So with that being said, what are you gonna do? You can do whatever it takes, aren't you? If you want to be the top of the top and you want to be the highest person and you want to outcompete people, is he gonna pull some strings? He probably is gonna pull some strings, let's be honest. Is he going to take some shortcuts to get there? He probably will. He most likely will. You know? So what is what she's saying could be right. It could be actually true. And then some of what she's saying could be completely false as well. So you just never know the story until it comes out their horse's mouth. And like I said, Mr. Beast, Rosanna, hiding behind Twitter comments isn't enough for really for us to go off. We really need to see some videos and they really need to do video videos. You know, that's what I would really like to see. As a viewer, as a content creator, you know, that's what I would love. If you guys are new, subscribe. It's free to do so. Also, like this video, please. It helps us get it out to more people because maybe I've mentioned something that most of the creators haven't mentioned yet. Because I do know this for one thing, people, before I leave. YouTubers are like fucking robots. They will copy each other. If one person says this, they, say, they just regurgitate the same shit in their own little personalities. They just package it in a different way. And a lot of people are going to dislike what I just said because they're going to get offended because it's their favorite YouTuber. But that is the honest truth. You look at it. They're going to copy the thumbnails in a certain way. 
they're going to copy the titles in a certain way and they're going to talk about the same points in a certain way you're just listening to basically the same shit just a little bit differently modified if you don't like it tough if you like it hey welcome to the channel we're going to explore some of the truth okay moving forward see you later people bye 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 bye, -bye.